good morning good afternoon good evening guys depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post first and foremost to anybody that they have helped out there i suppose you're very very lucky but me i don't know the meaning of ethical hacking i don't understand the meaning of that word that is number one number two it is blatantly obvious that they actually enjoy watching people hmm? it is blatantly obvious that they enjoy watching people guys and to my mind that is very very disturbing and very worrying yeah well done though well done to all of the people that you have caught well done to all of all of the people whose money that you have recovered maybe you can recover my money as well that has been stolen but number one me i don't trust anybody that says they're a hacker i don't whether they say that they're hacking for good or for bad the fact is they know how to do that and we all know that once you have a skill you want to use it it is human nature once you have a skill you want to use it mm? when human beings start giving themselves that power to go anywhere and do anything anyway the lines have already been blurred mm? the lines have already been blurred mm? they have obviously been watching me they have obviously hacked into my system. It is blatantly obvious that they enjoy watching people. Yeah? It is blatantly obvious that they enjoy watching people. That is the thing about hackers. That is the thing about hackers. They don't have any lines. They don't have any boundaries. They don't. Forget whatever it is that they're telling you. They don't have any boundaries. Why? Because they know how to do it. Once they have that skill, they can go anywhere they want to, yeah? And they can spy on anybody they want to. And they normally do. They normally do. That is the God's honest truth. Mm? That is why I am your global eye, because I will tell you the truth, yeah? I think the best bet, I think the best bet, best practice is to go to the authorities, that is if you're somebody that the authorities will listen to you. Because it is blatantly obvious. I mean, from listening to them, it's blatantly obvious that those motherfuckers had been watching me. Yeah. So what moral leg do they have to stand on? They've been watching me. All of the footage that they were watching of me is not footage that was obtained legally. Hmm? So they have been watching me. Yeah. So, to my mind, anyway... If they helped you recover your money, fine. But the thing is, do you know when they ever turn it off? Because with these people, these guys are voyeurs. Yeah. If you don't know the meaning of the word voyeur, you can go online and check for the meaning of the word voyeur. Guys, these guys are voyeurs. That is what they do. And voyeurs, they enjoy watching people in a way that is intrusive to that person. I'm not talking about the scammers. Yeah, the scammers, they deserve what they get. Even though it is obvious that some people were actually catching stray bullets. You know, some people that shouldn't have actually caught stray bullets were catching stray bullets. Yeah? If you watch the videos, you can see that some people were just catching stray bullets. Yeah, to the people that they caught, fine. But these guys, it's like they've kind of taken the law into their own hands, haven't they? They have. It is obvious that they have taken the law into their own hands. And the crux of this matter to these sons of bitches is that what they're actually doing is illegal. Yeah? They themselves, what they're doing is illegal. It is. What they are doing is illegal. But they're using their illegality to also catch other people that are doing illegal things. Guys, this is the problem with the internet. This is the problem with the internet sometimes where there are no boundaries and the lines are so blurred. Mm? There are no boundaries and the lines are so blurred. Me, 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 Anna Sanga talking to you. I can never trust anybody called a hacker. Not in a million years. Not in a month of Sundays. Me, I can never trust anybody called a hacker. Because why? The whole 
the the whole idea of their behavior is that they enjoy watching people in a way that they shouldn't they enjoy intruding into other people's lives that's hacking isn't it they enjoy doing that that is why me i can never trust anybody called a hacker whether they say they are hacking for good or they're hacking for bad Please go online and check or open your dictionary and check the meaning of the word hacker. Hmm? They are all the same. They enjoy spying on people. Guys, I remember I watched this program years ago online. When I say years ago, it's not actually that long ago. Was it two, three years ago? And it was this guy. Uh, was he a former, no such thing as a former hacker. Once you're a hacker, you're a hacker for life. Guys, go and speak to one of the hackers who actually want to tell you the truth. They will tell you. Once you're a hacker, you're a hacker. It's, it's a behavior. It's not something that they can stop. It's not something that they can stop. So once they're in it, they're in it. And when you watch their videos, you can actually see that they enjoy spying on people. Whether it's for good or bad. Once you see, once you watch their videos, you can tell. It's obvious for everybody to see. Anyway, I was telling you guys about this program that I watched online. About this man who, who said he was a former hacker. But what he does now, the video is still there somewhere. But what he does now is design systems for top-notch celebrities and uh exclusive banks guys you know that there's so many banks that ordinary people everyday people like me and you cannot go to so these are banks for the elite the rich the famous royalty and the super super rich so this guy said he said that he had retired from hacking but what he now does is design security systems for these banks and these super rich people to prevent them from being hacked. And then somebody asked him if he's ever, ever tempted. And guess what this man said on camera? He said, uh, he said, yeah, that he always leaves a back door for himself to be able to get in. Hmm? Guys. Once they are in that behavior, once you are rooted in any kind of behavior, you're rooted in that behavior. So I said to myself, so this man actually had the mind to say on YouTube, on camera, that he always leaves a back door for himself to gain entry. Hmm? Guys, please go and look for that video. Go and look for that video in case that guy has designed any system for you. He has left a sis he has left a back door for himself to enter. That means that he still has access to your system. Hmm? He still has access to your system. Hmm? That means that somebody can actually get to you through him if need be. Anyway, me I've said my own. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I don't trust them for I don't trust them for shishi. I don't trust them for nothing. Once they are hackers, they are hackers. Eh? Once they are hackers, they are hackers. I ain't trust them for nothing. I ain't trust none of them. Whether they say they are hacking for good or they are hacking for bad. I ain't trust them for nothing. I said what I said. If the authorities cannot do their job, then let us all go down on our knees and pray to Jesus. Eh? As for trusting hackers. Nonsense. Rubbish.